those situations um, where there is disagreement um, in, in the family um, at the bedside about you know kind of how to how to uh, proceed with things um, they, they can it, it can be very difficult you know the fact that there's already that emotional insult of having your loved one in, in that kind of a declining situation in the hospital but then when there's when there's lack of clarity or agreement about you know whether to withdraw life support or continue with very supportive measures um, the, the, typically, when, when I, I'm involved in a situation like that with a, with a patient and family, uh, my initial advice is always um, that, that as we're talking about this, uh, the, the patient needs to be insulated from that. So, you know, we, we always try to, uh, to, to really encourage patients, uh, or their families rather, to, you know, if there is a possibility of uh, disagreement uh, and, and at times very contentious di disagreement to, to step away from the bedside, find a quiet place. Um, when you think about what, what uh, our loved ones are, are, are contending with there in the hospital, there's just so much that they are um, you know, having to confront and then having family um, disagreements there at the bedside is, is very, very tragic in those situations. Uh, and then ultimately, you know, as we're working with families and, and you know, the, the nurses and caregivers that, that work with us uh, you know, will, will assist in these situations, but so our social workers do as well. Our social workers are very um, you know, uh, uh, helpful in these kinds of situations. And, and the coach for the family is really, um, you know, encouraging families to step back, think about their loved one, and, and kind of put themselves in, in the loved one's shoes. Uh, if you were in that situation, um, and knowing, knowing what we know about, you know, the reality of, of that family member's condition, you know, what, what would you want to happen? Um, you know, it, it's, uh, we, we all have, um, we, all, we all go through, through uh, phases of, of grief, and denial is one of them. Um, and so, uh, you know, I don't, think there's a, I don't think there's a single loving human being that doesn't go through that, that stage of denying the fact that our loved one is as sick as they really are. Um, but ultimately being able to progress through that stage is, is essential for, um, you know, a healthy emotional response to a very difficult situation. And there are plenty of very sincere folks that are kind of caught in that stage. Uh, and, and there are times whenever that denial can just be very, very strong, just a, a very powerful force. Um, but uh, but the, the key is really to be able to help, pay, uh, you know, family members that are struggling with that to progress through that stage and into the next stage of acceptance and really at that point uh, into, you know, kind of the problem solving phase of, you know, this is what we know about our loved one's condition. Now what are the things that we need to do in order to really be able to promote their own wishes in this kind of a situation? Mm -hmm.